So, hey, Chuckle Fucks, it's your boy, Dark Raku. Coming here where a what if Issei had the powers of, well, the dragon and the shadow monarch, part six. So, part five, I only did it for like 19 minutes, but yeah. And I haven't uploaded that much, but yeah. Uh, I'm still having to record on my first channel for a while because I was sick for like a couple of days. Just keep coughing most of the damn time. But yeah, I don't think it's anything serious. I just cough a little bit now. <coughs> like right now. But not the point. Let me begin into this what if and let me shut the fuck up now. But yeah. <sighs> so we begin into, well, the battle between Loki and, well, the others. Now, Loki, of course, summons out his, as a car. well, Fenro, the two other, uh, Wolf, a Scully, and Hattie, and also summon out the World Serpent. This is where all of them are getting ready to fight him. Of course, this is where Issei, he disappears, appearing right in front of where Loki, punching him in the face without a care in the world. This is where Issei says, pathetic. Ha! <laughs> How is that supposed to affect me? This is where, well... Loki gets angry and starts summoning out magic circles to attack Issei. Issei is easily dodging, but yeah. This is where Yoshin, Yoshin is the ice uh, monarch, mostly the ice elf monarch. While, well, Dobby is the, well, white flame monarch. Also known as the demonic monarch, but yeah. This is where, well, they're kind of fighting against the world serpent, or mostly not even the world serpent. They're kind of fighting against, well, Fenro. While the others are kind of fighting, well, the original kind of like counterpart, partner somewhat. But yeah, of course, this where, well, with that happening, everyone is kind of having a fun, well, in the monarch's words, it's fun. And in just normal, regular battle, everyone is just saying this is just a battle, trying to win and all that. Mostly, Issei is right now fighting against, well, what's it called, Loki, pretty easily beating his ass. Loki's over here trying to, well, take out Issei because he can see that Issei's the biggest problem here. Because Issei has so much mana, he can actually feel the mana. This is where, well, Loki appeared right in front of Issei from an illusion that Issei thought he cut someone down. This is where, well, Loki said, ha, now you fall for my illusion. Since I'm the god of trickery, this is where Issei says, die, ice, well, not ice, fire breath. This is where, well... Uh, Issei's mouth ignited with fire and just igniting Loki. Loki gets to launch into multiple walls and just kind of cough up blood after kind of getting out of the rubble. His clothes are kind of ripping, torn, and also burnt. This is where he looks towards Fenrir's side. And Fenrir's over here already getting fucked up by, well, what's it called? Davi and Yoshin. Yoshin is sending multiple ice arrows, stabbing into, well, what's it called? Fenrir. Fenrir is roaring in anger, but of course his face just gets blasted by, by white flames. This is where Dobby pulls out a great sword and swings it down, cutting at Fenrir. This is where, well, look, you can see that Fenrir is actually having the most troublesome time with those two. This is where, well, he then kind of looks in front of him, sees Issei appear right in front of him. This is Issei says, Icarus, come out. Icarus appears, slashing at, well, what's it called, uh, Loki. Loki goes, son of a bitch. <coughs> but this is where, well, everyone is kind of just like fighting and all that. This is where, well, uh, Reese is kind of like helping the others. But yeah, this is where she kind of sees Issei is easily beating the shit out of Loki without a care in the world. This is where, well, and Loki says, son of a bitch, you motherfucker. Hi, I am a god. I will bring Ragnarok, Loki says, screaming at Issei. Issei says, Ragnarok, Magnarok, I don't give a fuck about anything. Now, now that you know that I don't care about your stupid fucking plan, can you shut the fuck up and die? This is where, well, Issei doesn't seem to really care about this whole god thing. Because you see here, Issei's personality is a uncaring one that much. He doesn't care that much in a lot of things, but yeah. This is where Loki says, eh, I'm not dying to some weakling. This is where, well, something appears behind Issei, mostly the door's hammer. Mostly, Mel uh, okay, I'm not going to try to say the name, I keep forgetting most of the time. But this is where, well, door's hammer kind of falls down. This is where Issei says, the fuck is that? 
Officer Loki says, Damn it, Oda. This is where the Valkyrie mostly, uh, was it called? Ross Weiss says, That's Thor's hammer. Basically, that'll be the hammer to defeat Loki. He, he says, says, The hell? What am I supposed to be doing? Pick that shit up? It looks too heavy for me to even pick it up. Yeah, so where, well, Loki says, <sighs> Finro, kill this brat. This is where Finro managed to kind of escape what's it called, Bolt Dobby, and what's it called, uh, Yoshin? Yoshin kind of says, damn it. Dobby says, oh no, you don't, you motherfucker. He appears right in front of what's it called, the wolf, and swings his sword, igniting with white flame, slashing at what's it called. Well, the wolf, pushing it back towards all the ice uh, monarch. This is where the ice jumps up and says, hey, watch out, fucker. Whatever. This is where he pulls out his bow while still has it in his hand. And it just glows with this bluish color, adding more magic. This is where he pulls out one arrow out of nowhere, made it out of ice. But this ice is white. This is where, well, he also says, white ice style, multiple arrows striking. This is where he launches the arrow. And of course, the arrow just multiplies into so many arrows, smashing into Finro. Finra is roaring in anger and screaming, but yeah. This is where, well, Loki says, son of a bitch. This is where Issei goes up to the hammer and just touches it and grabs it. This is where he easily is able to pick it up. This is where he says, interesting. This hammer looks interesting. This is where, well, Loki says, son of a bitch. How does he pick that up? No, 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 no. I'm not losing. Hattie, yep. This is where Hattie and Scully already knocked the fuck out thanks to the others, but yeah. This is where he then looks towards the other side of the uh, sea serpent. But, of course, that sea serpent's actually getting there. Well, it's ass kicked by, well, none other than a, what they call, giant shadow figure. Mostly, yes, he said there's some now shadow soldiers to help out the others. This is where, well, he said he knows about what's it called, a Yoshin and what's it called, Dobby. Oh, well, being able to handle himself, but yeah. This is where, well. Look, he says, no, I can't die. I won't die. This is where he rushes at Issei. Issei grabs the hammer and says, too bad. Now, fuck you. This is where he swings the hammer at, what's it called, Loki? Loki says, screw you. I'll curse you, motherfucker. You and that red hair. This is where he still screams for Rias because Rias is the princess of, well, the princess. I forgot what she was the cop princess, but yeah. Must he destruct him or something? I don't forgot. This is where he say, I'll curse you both. This is where he goes on the Shakespeare kind of quote. I don't remember it, but yeah. I really don't care about Shakespeare that much. But this is where, well, he goes on with that. This is where he says, isn't that Shakespeare? This is where he says the same in her head. And this is where he say he kind of just smacks something in front of him, destroying a curse that was supposed to hit him. He says, he's pathetic. This is where he also got noticed by, by the system because he does have the system with him. And he noticed there's a car, Rhea's having a curse. So he says, that's going to be bothersome. It seems the curse was supposed to affect me first, then Rhea's. Well, too bad for that. That curse never reached me. This where Loki is now still away into, well, a prison and was a car, well, back to, uh, fucking forgot what was it called. Whatever. Back to where Oda is at, but yeah. This is where, well. Issei then turns around and sees that Finro is actually being, being the fuck out of by both Dobby and Yoshin. Yoshin is saying, this motherfucker doesn't die. This is where, well. Dobby says, no, he doesn't. Wanna just go into our actual forms? This is where, before they actually go into their forms, their actual true, what's it called, monarch selves. This is where, well, something appears. Mostly Arthur and also that cat girl actually appears or whatever. They kind of stop them from doing this. Mostly the cat girl tries to attack Dobby, but Dobby appears right now igniting white flames in front of him, saying, Burn you bitch. This is where, well, Arthur tries to attack Yoshin, but Yoshin sent multiple arrows. And uh, what's it called? Well, Arthur. This is where they're on a standstill because, well, fighting against these two monarchs are kind of difficult. But of course, they don't even know these guys are monarchs. This is where, well, they're trying to get Finro, but this is where Issei appears saying, sup. This is where, well, they kind of wind their eyes because they could not react fast enough. This is where Issei grabs both of their heads and smash them together and just push them out of the way. This is where Issei appears right in front of Finro. This is where he says, come out, burial. 
burial up here screaming out. Well, not burial. We'll say, um, not burial. Uh, what's it called? Baru? Baru will appear screaming out rage and roaring, going straight to our funeral and just ripping him apart, just cutting him, slicing him with his uh, hand. And yeah, this is where, well, both of them try to get up, but they can't get up. Mostly the people that went at the funeral because they had plans for funeral, but now funeral is dead. This is where Issei says, arise. This is where Fenra appears as another commander for Issei. Issei smiles, saying, well, what to name you, what to name you, hmm. Hmm. You know what, I have a bad, a good name for you instead of Fenra. Fenra sounds like a dumb name. Let me name you something else. He says, your name is Kagero. Just, just means shadow wolf, but yeah. This is where, well, I okay, got her nodded and just kind of like shrink down or can't even grow, but yeah, that's where Issei says, hmm, well, they're now on my team, so I should probably also get rid of the other two. This is where, well, Issei appears right in front of Hattie and, well, what's it called, Scully, appears with, uh, what's it called, a dagger, and just easy cuts them down while kind of rising them up. This is where he keeps them named Hattie and Skull because he doesn't want to have another tantrum and try to find out what's called it but yeah or not tantrum mostly uh what's it called just didn't really want to figure out that and i just don't actually have an idea what to call them but yeah but of course where isei says hmm interesting well sea serpent is next this is where the sea serpent freezes in an instant thanks to well yoshin yoshin was already angry enough his skin was bluish and his hair was now longer an icy blue color. This is where he froze the sea serpent entirely. This is where, well, the sea serpent can't get out and the ice is never gonna melt. Yeah, permit frost ice, that's what it's called. This is where, well, he says, oh, come on, you couldn't let me have that fun? This is where, well, Yoshin flips off Issei and Issei says, fuck you too. This is where, well, they're kind of arguing, but yeah. This is where, well, the girl and also Arthur are having to leave into a portal before Dobby appears saying, where the hell do you people think you're going? This is where his hair is ignited with white flames. His eyes are right now kind of glowing with kind of white in them. And this is where, well, we're mostly kind of glowing with white ice. And this is where, well, well, one of, okay, his eyes are pupil and they're kind of white and they're glowing. This is where, well, igniting with kind of whitish flames around them. This is where, well, both, well, both of them try to dodge, which they just jump into a portal, while Yoshin strikes the ground where they were at. The ground melted in an instant. Yosh, uh, Dobby was, he was pissed. He says, son of a bitch, where the fuck do you think you're going? You can't leave me, I want a battle. That's where Issei says, great, you two are insane. That's where Dobby and Yoshin glares at, well, Issei, Issei says, whatever. That's where, well. Issei lets go of the hammer because he was still holding that bitch, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of just lands down while Rias runs up to him and just kind of tackles him. This is where Issei says, what do you do? This is where he falls down while Rias is still on top of him, kind of making sure that he's not hurt. Issei is confused, but yeah. This is where we go into a time skip, and of course, this is where, well, the gods are mostly not gods, mostly Sir Zex. Michael, Azel, and also Oda are glad that Loki's defeated and uh, Issei is much more powerful than normal now. But yeah. This is where, well. This is where, well, we go into kind of a time skip because, yeah, of course, this is where everyone is going back to the human world. This is where, well, Rias' mother kind of asked, well, both Issei and Rias. If they will ever bring grandkids to her. This is where, well, Issei was confused. Rias was blushing. Yoshin didn't care. He, uh, what was it called? Well, they were kind of near, so yeah, that's why they heard. Mostly Dog didn't give a shit neither. This is where, well, Rias says, what, 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 are, what are you talking about, mother? I, I think you're crazy. We're gonna go. This is where, well, Rias' mother said, ah, so mean of them. This is where, well, to get back to the human world, of course, is where Dobby and Yoshin disappears because, well, first of all, fuck that. Tetsu is staying along with Issei, but yeah. It's where, uh, or not Tetsu. Tetsu decides to also leave back to his world. 
because, well, back to his kind of dimension, because, well, first of all, he didn't want to deal with that many humans, but yeah. This is where Issei is now left alone again. And now at his original house, which is bigger now, and of course, there's multiple people living with him. This is where, well, Issei is in his bedroom, kind of sleeping because he finished his homework a while ago, hearing music while going to sleep. And the song he's hearing right now is... Mostly, it's the song, well, the song is called In The End by Linkin Park, but yeah, of course, it's where, well, you say he's hearing that shit, while someone actually managed to get to his bed and kind of laid next to him. Issei opened his eyes, one of his purplish eyes, and of course, looks towards the left of, well, mostly not left, right of him, and sees his nothing other than Rias. Rias is trying to cozy up, of course, she doesn't have any clothes, and Issei does have clothes, he's kind of wearing like a dark long sleeve wait it was a car these dark pants but yeah they are mostly for like sleeping and all that that's where Issei said what are you doing here he took off his earbud that's where well Rhea said isn't it bad for you to kind of be hearing music while you're going to sleep that's where well Issei said well fight me about it then that's where well Rhea said Ksh. you're always so mean you know that that's where Issei says too bad what are you doing here anyway Issei said that's where Rhea said well, I just wanted to sleep with you. Come on. This is where Issei said, I thought you said you didn't want to have kids. This is where Rhea's face becomes red. And he's like, no, no, not that way, you fucking pervert. This is where Issei says, pervert, huh? Says the one who's actually sleeping like that. Please tell me how am I a pervert, Issei said. This is where Rhea kind of blushes in anger and annoyment. This is where, well, Issei said, are you going to leave my room? I know you're frustrated. Please tell me you're going to leave my room. This is where she kind of just grabs him and says, I'm not leaving your room. Now, fuck you. This is where he says, sad and says, aw, so mean. You're so cute when you get angry. This is where, well, Rhea's face becomes all red and says, sh 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 shut up. This is where, well, Issei kind of just looks at her and just says, well, are you so stressful about me? You know, it was already a stupid idea to propose to me. You know damn well I'm going to fucking ignore you. This is where Rhea says, sh sh shut up. This is where, well, she doesn't leave for the car Issei's room. But of course, they just stay there for a second. This is where, well, Issei then says, whatever, do whatever you want. I'm going back to hearing music. The next song that actually appears was called, um... The song is called I'm a Monster, made by Lucha and God Mode. But yeah, that's what the creators are kind of called. But yeah, this is where, well, Issei is hearing the music. Well, it goes to sleep, but yeah. This is where Rias also goes to sleep. This is where, well, Issei wakes up. Of course, Rias isn't like holding, well, she is kind of holding on to him and all that. This is where Issei sighs. This is where he grabs a blanket, just put it over both of them. That's where, well, Issei just says, God damn it, so annoying. The song that's now playing because it did kind of, it's somewhere like, uh, what's it called, 4 a.m. in the middle of the, well, morning, but yeah, or not middle of the morning, just morning. That's where, well, Issei is still hearing music, but yeah. The song that's playing right now is called, well, the song is called Numb the Pain, and of course the creator is, well, Clarks and some other people, but yeah, this is where, well, Issei is still hearing music. He just goes to sleep again, while Rias kind of just tugs on him, but yeah. Of course, this is where Issei doesn't give a shit, he just goes back to sleep, but yeah. The next day happens, and of course, this is where Issei, he wakes up after opening one of his eyes. And this is where, well, he kind of noticed Rias isn't with him. This is where, well, he says, finally, she got out of my bed. This is where, well... Someone up here saying, hey, Issei. That's where Issei looks towards the door. And he says, none other than the white-haired girl. That's where he says, uh, great. What do you want? It's time for school, and Rhea said, tell me to wake you up. Just in case you were just gonna skip school. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, did I look like I was gonna go to school in the first place? No, I'm going back to sleep. This is where Issei goes back to sleep. This is where the white-haired girl is named, uh... Yeah, Kyokuno. And this is where she says, hmm. Okay. This is where, well. She appears with her cat ears and cat tail. And this is where she was about to punch Issei. 
with a punching technique. And that's where Issei blocks it with one finger. And that's where Issei says, you can go away from me. I'm trying to go to sleep. This is where he kind of just pushes her away. But yeah. This is where, well, she kind of says, hmm, fine. Just get ready. We gotta go to school. And Reyes did tell you to come to the club. That's where Issei says, oh, great. What does she want exactly from me? Fine, I'll go. That's where Issei gets up. And that's where he starts changing, uh, changing the mostly toes with the cock. You're gonna go away. Wait, yeah. This is where Issei kind of, like, gets to school, of course, wearing, like, black clothing again. Because he just doesn't give a shit that much. He's wearing a black long sleeve with, with the cock, just black pants, and that's all. He doesn't give a shit. This is where, well, they go towards the clubhouse. And, of course, where, well, yeah, the uh, club, mostly, but, yeah. This is where, well, they get towards the cop scene, well, Gasper on the ground, and of course, Kyokono and uh, Issei being there. This is where they see Rias and just a fake Issei. This is where Issei appears killing the, well, mostly destroying the fake Issei while Rias disappears. This is where Issei was confused, but it's pretty much she disappears into a dimension. This is where Issei says, son of a bitch. But yeah, he's annoyed. Or, no, 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 uh, you know, yeah, they kind of, like, uh, realize that she's in a different dimension, of course, they got word from, uh, what's it called, Oda, that she's in this dimension and all that, Issei says, wait, dimension, oh, I have been there already, Issei kind of disappears from the others and appears right in front of the kind of dimensional gap thing or whatever it is, this is where, well, he knows how to get here because, well, he got here on accident in one of his dungeons, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of sees Rias in front of him. And Rias has this kind of, like, darkish kind of glow around her. That's where she rushes to attack Issei, but Issei blocks most of the attacks. Issei says, you know, this is pointless of us fighting right now. Maybe you should stop and all that. This is where Issei uh, kind of dodges a, well... A sword attack from Rias. That's where Rias has a similar dagger, but mostly like a sword. That's where Issei kind of like pushes his thumb to his cheek because he, yes, he did get cut and sees a little bit of blood. That's where, well, he licks his, uh, what's it called, lips and says, hmm, well, I guess you're so much more skilled than normal. This is where Rias sends destructive magic at Issei because she's still under control and all that. Even though the fake Issei was killed because Issei didn't give a fuck. This is where Issei dodges it and says, you know, every time you attack me, I'm guessing that this is all the anger and anguish that you hate towards me from the fact that I haven't really accepted you that much. This is where, well, she keeps attacking and attacking. This is where Issei dodges, dodges, and dodges so easily. This is where the shadows uh, soldiers are actually thinking to attack, but this is where Issei doesn't allow them. Issei appears right in front of Rias, and Rias tries to attack him, but that's where Issei kind of just stopped her by kind of grabbing both of her arms and saying, Hey, you know it's bad enough to attack me like that. Besides, I'm the damn king, and you're just going to have to be the queen of mine. This is where Rias kind of froze because, well, she's confused in what is Issei saying, until Issei kind of just grabbed her from the waist and just pulled her closer and that's where well Rias even though she's under control she can feel emotions and this is where she's actually taking control back again and seeing what is Issei doing this is where well she snaps back to reality and says what are you doing this is where Issei just smiles and says huh as you managed to break the curse which is good looks and other things not really Issei was actually adding magic into her to break the curse but yeah this is where well or mostly give her a kind of like string of hope and actually making her come back. This is where, well, and also breaking the curse at the same time. This is where, well, she kind of says, what are you doing, you bastard? This is where Issei says, uh-huh, I thought you would like that. This is where, well, she says, uh, I will, uh, this is where, well, she's stuttering so much and this is where Issei is just smiling. Like an evil smile, but yeah. This is where, well, they kind of sigh and this is where Rhea says, where are we anyway? This is where Issei says, this is a dimensional gap. Only got here thinks the fact that I got here an accident. But yeah, 
This is where, well, they see a giant dragon. And this is where Drake says, that's, that's the red domination dragon. We should follow him. This is where, well, they both kind of follow him. And, of course, this is where they get to a place where a bunch of stars are there. And, of course, they're near a river. This is where Rios walks uh, away from Issei and kind of gets to the water. She's looking at the water and everything. And, of course, this is where she kind of has a saddened look. Issei appears next to her, and of course Issei said, What? Are you looking out there? Just because you feel loneliness? I swear Rhea says, No, I don't feel loneliness. I have friends and people that I love about. Hmm. Is that one of, is those one of those people that you love me? This is where, well, Rhea says, I, Shut up. This is where, well, Issei said, Sure, I'll shut up. This is where, well, Rhea says, Good. Issei kind of, Pulls her in and hugs her. This is where Rhea blushes and says, what, what are you doing? This is where, well, Issa says, hugging you, of course. Besides, I think I fall in love with the red hair of yours. This is where, well, Rhea's face becomes red, but this is where Issa just grabs her from the chin and, like, planted a kiss in her. This is where, well, they started kind of making out until they kind of appear back into the outside world. This is where their memories are kind of uh, foggy, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into the night, but of course, this is where, well, they happen to go into raiding games, but yeah, later on. Now, of course, this is where, well, Rias and Issei were outside kind of talking. This is where Rias says, for some reason, I got memories of this and that. This is where, well, Issei said, hmm, interesting. That's where Issa can remember everything what he said, but he's not going to really tell Rias and what exactly he said in that dimension, but yeah. This is where, well, Rias said, ah, oh, I feel like you confessed, you confessed to me, but I can't remember. That's where Issa says, don't know. Well, I'm going back to sleep and hear music, so see ya. This is where, well, Rias says, yeah, bye. This is where, well, she thinks about what they did. They, she remembers fighting him and then just everything kind of being foggy a little bit and then just remember being any out in the real life world. But yeah, this is where, well, they are conf well, she's confused, but Issei isn't because he can remember easily. He easily remember after a while, but yeah, this is where, well, he said, you know, you're going to just to remember it by yourself. I'm not going to tell you, Issei said quietly, but yeah. This is where, well, we're going to a time skip of going to the rating games. Now, of course, it's that one dude that's going to kind of, like, ask for Azia's hand and marriage or whatever bullshit. And, of course, is where she was almost about to get captured until Issei appears, cutting this man into a million pieces. And, of course, is where, well, multiple soldiers were trying to attack Issei, but Issei summoned out this army of shadow, well, soldiers to easily crush this army. And kill the Chaos Patrol and also fight against well, the Descendant Bazel because, well, Bazel was kind of angry. And the fact Issei killed, what's it called, that guy. And, of course, couldn't really show off his big announcement, but whatever. Because Issei didn't give a fuck. Issei appears right in front of this guy and says, Too bad. Annihilation Flames. Bye. He blasted this man straight to hell. To the nine rounds of hell, he's dead. This is where, well... He says, hey, yeah, that was easier than I thought. He stuck out his tongue when he was saying all that. Uh, this is where, well, Rias and the others are just shocked at how powerful Issei is, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei says, well, what are y'all looking at? I'm just strong, I guess. This is where, well, we go into a time skip of, well, Issei training just to become stronger and all that. Well, mostly going on dungeons and other things, but yeah. Because if you remember right, he's only level 60. He he wants to kind of get to level 100. But yeah, this is where Issei has been going on for dungeons and other things. And of course, Rias hasn't really came along. Well, she has in some of them, but of course, some of them are too scary. And the magical creatures that they fight is a little bit too powerful for her. Well, kind of. Issei does go on some... D to C, just in case, uh, just to kind of train her, but yeah, and her magic, and this is where, well, they have been doing that for a couple of months, but yeah, 
or just like two months in total. That's where, well, Rias is back in the underworld because, well, the next day will be like this field trip for Issei and the others to go, but yeah, that's where Rias is sad because, well, she isn't going to spend time with Issei that much. Issei and Rias has actually been getting closer, only if Issei kind of allows it because Issei is still very shut off, but yeah. This is where, well, <sighs> Rias but of course she has gotten stronger. And of course, her magic has gotten stronger. This is where she's wearing like this necklace. Well, the necklace that Issei gave her that allows to, well, not be stopped and frozen in time. But yeah. She's also wearing these like rings, but mostly one in her index finger and the other in her kind of like middle finger. One is kind of to increase her magic and the other to uh, help her kind of restore her magic. But yeah. Doesn't work well. She's wearing a kind of bracelet that kind of gives her luck, but yeah, like the it has a clover leaf on it and it just allows her to kind of get lucky with with a car, anything, but yeah. Does it work well? Issei is well different looking from Rias. Uh, of course, Rias has still her longest, beautiful red hair, while Issei's black hair. It's still curly, and of course, well, still has black hair. This is where he's still wearing dark shades, even though he did, he doesn't really need to, but yeah. But of course, he's wearing a black kind of coat, and of course, they wear a purple shirt underneath, with wearing kind of these, like, black kind of jeans, but yeah. Pretty much, Rias kind of bother him to kind of wear different clothing that isn't just black, black, black. She was glad with him just wearing a purple shirt, but yeah. This is where, well, they get to the underworld, and of course, this is where Sir Sex kind of got asked by, what's it called, uh... This is where, well, Issei is supposed to be fighting a Sir Orc. Now, Sir Orc kind of says, interesting, so I'll be fighting against you, Issei, also known as Rhea's boyfriend. This is where Rhea's face is red, and she's kind of shaking her head, but yeah. It's to wear a search exit. Then you should too just spar for a little bit. Issei kind of just smirks and say, sure. This is where Issei has also gotten a little bit much more taller, but this is where Issei is also the, well, level of level 86. But yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of says, sure. I'll decide to play along with the spar. This is where, well, Rhea says, whatever, just hurry up and finish this. Besides, you do realize that tomorrow is the field trip. Issei say, yeah, 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 I understand. Don't get your hair too, well, what's it called? Red, out of anger. And besides, it makes it way too adorable and distracted. This is where Rhea's face becomes more red. And this is where, well, uh, Sir Zach just smiles on how Issei and Rhea's are. But yeah, they kind of started kind of dating after a while. Even though Issei is still very shut off, but yeah. This is where Sir Orc just uh, kind of laughs and says, Ah, then bring it on. This is where Sir Orc just kind of appears with a very powerful punch towards Issei because he knows Issei is powerful. Issei dodges, kind of just jumping back. This is where Issei said, I won't be using any magic. So let's fight. This is where Issei appears kicking at Sir Orc is in the head. This is where he gets pushed back a little bit, but this is where he punches the ground. This is where Issei disappears. And up here, right in front of Sir Orcus, and punching him, like, right in the stomach. Psh, ah. This is where, well, Sir Orcus kind of punches the ground, sending the rubble kind of up. This is where, well, Issei just kind of jumps up. This is where Issei is now in the sky. And this is where Issei kind of just, like, axe kicks the air. And this is where an air slash, or mostly an air wave, appears, smashing into Sir Orcus. Sir Orcus coughs up and just gets... Right now, more serious. This is where he fights against Issei in hand to hand combat. This is where Issei is dodging some of the punches, punching Sir Orcus. Sir Orcus is barely able to dodge some of them, but this is where he's sending more and more powerful punches, and Issei kind of gets hit by one of them, even though he managed to block it. His hand was shaking. This is where Issei says, Damn, you're powerful. How? But do you really going to hurt my arm? You know, Rius really likes holding this arm. This is where, well, Rhea's face becomes red and says, shut up, Issei. This is where, well, 
You can say smiles and says, oh, come on. Is it really that bad? Does it work well? Issei seems to just smile a little bit, but does it work well? She gets even more red because she pretty much enjoys what well, Issei kind of smiles a little bit. But yeah, does it work well? Issei says, well, we should probably finish this battle. Does it work well? Issei gets it ready. Right now, purplish glow appears around him. Yes, to where well, uh, Sir Orcus kind of also gets serious. Well, this is for Sir Zach. Uh, Sir Zach says, "You took is already a tie. You should. Oh uh, well. How about channel that power when you're going against each other in the rating games?" That's right. You say, "Say, huh? Are you serious?" This is where well, Sir Orcus kind of laughs and says, "Ah, uh, I guess you're right, uh, Sir uh, Zach. Uh, Sir Zach, I guess you're right." I should channel a power when we're on the battlefield. Hmm. Well, pretty nice to meet you. What is it called? Uh, how should I say? You wouldn't be my brother-in-law because, well, Rhea isn't my sister. She's mostly my cousin. So I guess you're my cousin-in-law, aren't you? Issei says we're not getting married anytime soon. So I guess we're still just friends. Yes, for sure, Arkin says. Uh, but that doesn't matter. If you do get married with Reyes in the near future, you would just have to be my cousin-in-law. But, I wouldn't mind calling you brother-in-law. This is where, well, Reyes' face is nothing but red and hiding behind what's it called Sir Zax, because she is just annoyed with these two, but yeah. You say, say, well, I guess so, but I guess, I wonder what Reyes wants to say about this, since her face is nothing but red. It's probably the same color of her hair. This is where Reyes behind Sir Zax says, shut up, Issei. This is where, well, she's keep blushing, but yeah. This is where Issei is just smiling. With this kind of evilish tone, but yeah. This is where, well, <sighs> Sir Zex kind of sighs and says, Well, you two should probably be going back to a human world. Issei, I know you're going to have to have a field trip and other things. So I'm just going to say, enjoy it, I guess. This is where, well, uh, Sir Orcus is also leaving, but yeah. This is where Issei says, Yeah, I guess so. Issei is kind of going back, and this is where. Rias is holding onto his arm, the one that was kind of a little bit shaking because it kind of did break a little bit. That's where Issa said, I said, I, as I say so, you like holding that arm. That's where Rias says, shut up, I'm healing it. That's where Issa says, okay, sure, heal whatever you like. This is where, well, Rias says, shut up. This is where, well, Issa said, why are you so angry? Because, uh, mm. Uh, mm, this is where, well, Issei said, oh, come on, you don't need to be so mean. This is where Rhea says, shut up already. Just let me heal the arm, I need to concentrate. Okay, uh, unless you want this ring that I have that allows you to heal faster, or heal anyone faster. This is where, well, Rhea said, give that to, what's it called, Asia. Uh, she can heal much better if you just gave her that. Issei says, I guess so. But, who, mm, sure, I give her to her. She is like a little sister to me. It's where Rios kind of blushes, but yeah. Because, well, pretty much Issei has kind of gotten used to, well, the people from the club, mostly. He sees Kiba as a friend a little bit, but yeah. And sees the other girls as not as part of his, what's it called, harem or anything, because Issei doesn't really care about that. And, of course, as part mostly as, like, good friends a little bit. And, of course, sees Azia as, like, a little sister. And Azia sees Issei as, like, an older brother. None of that whole, uh, what's it called? Harem, whatever, Bosch in the original canon. And Issei and Rias are kind of just seeing each other. Not as friends, but more as friends. But, yeah. Just started dating after a while. But, yeah. Issei there kind of confess his feelings to Rias. And even Rias did the same. And that's where they're blushing at one day. But yeah, Issei's face was completely like a purple shade of blushing. While Aureus was the same, but instead of being purple, it was red. So yeah. This work well. Everyone else was very happy they find fucking confess because it was actually taking forever. Because, well, Issei was still being kind of a dick and kind of always just teasing her a little bit. While, well, they kind of figure out that they kind of did like each other a lot. But yeah, this is where, well, <sighs> mostly, uh, they call, well, Rias is called the, what's it called, Princess of, whatever, I forgot, Destruction or something. They call Issei the Prince of, well, the Shadow Army, but yeah, 
or the Prince of the Shadows. But yeah, this is where, well, Issei is not a high ranking devil, and he's kind of classified as a devil, but really he's not. He's mostly uh, classified close to being an entity because, well, Issei isn't human entirely. He looks human, but he's not a devil, an angel, or a fallen angel, considering him to be an entity, but yeah. But some of the devils consider him to be like some kind of high ranking devil because he is goddamn powerful. But yeah, this is where, well, we go to a time skip of back to the kind of human world. This is where, well, everyone is kind of like a original kind of going to that field trip, but yeah. Issei is sitting on his own and just thinking in his head, saying, hmm, I wonder what this field trip is going to have. Luckily, I still have music. This is where he puts on what's called his, like, uh, headphones, not earbuds, this time. Headphones to just play music because he's sitting next to, well, the two perverts in front of him. And he needs to just listen to music so they will shut the fuck up, but yeah. <laughs> now, of course, this is where I'm actually going to leave it off. So, yeah, so, uh, have a nice day, I guess, so, you know what, goodbye, chuckle fucks, but other than that, yeah, bye.